This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. The fall TV season's here! The fall TV season's here! Hello? From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Well, the annual tradition is back. The fall TV season begins. And so we're doing our show. This is like the third or fourth one we've done, I I think. I think this may be four, I think. So, of course, premiering TV shows in the fall goes back to the 50s, which was originally the new model year for cars, Mm -hmm. at least all the way back then. I do remember waiting for the TV Guide Fall Preview issue to come out. Mm -hmm. I actually have a collection that goes from 77 in, uh, when it was thirty cents to two thousand five when it was two ninety nine, and then now it just doesn't even make sense to get a TV guide anymore. No, uh, we're basing our stuff from Entertainment Weekly now. <laughs> uh, of course, the TV industry is nothing if not bound to tradition, but now things have changed. TV is introduced all year round. Mm-hmm. Networks are no longer in the catbird seat, mm-hmm. what with cable and now online. Mm-hmm. But a tradition is a tradition, <laughs> and so the big four start. The big, the, yeah, the or big, the big five. five. The big five yeah. start their fall TV season. Yeah. So let's run through the new shows night by night, mm-hmm. starting with Sunday night. Yeah. A lot of the same. Football, Fox's animated block, Good Wife. Mm-hmm. ABC does have two new shows: Blood and Oil, which is basically Dallas with Don Johnson as Jr. Or, <laughs> or it's Empire. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're really promoting the two women in it as well. Right. So I think they're trying to compete against Empire as well. I think you're right. And it's I believe it's all based in North Dakota. So it's all the new Yeah, it's all about fracking now. Yeah. <laughs> we have Quantico about FBI trainees, one of which may be a terrorist, which and tells me they did a really lousy job of <laughs> of screening them. Screen people. I think this is like um uh their take on how to get away with murder. Because really, it's only a one-season kind of concept, you know? Right, yeah. You, you find out who that terrorist is, so... And Bollywood's Priyanka Chopra stars. So she's a huge star in, in India, India. But this is her first real thing in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And they're really playing her up. Mm-hmm. Moving on to Monday, several new entries. CBS's Life in Pieces. If you like Modern Family, you'll love this clone of Modern Family. Yeah, I, it looks a little different from Modern Family and maybe weirder, but... But yeah. it is so very much the idea yes. of... Uh, There's three separate families, yeah. they all have separate stories, and then they come together at the end. Which is the whole formula for Modern Family. CBS has Supergirl. Once CBS gets football out of the way... It's only been 40 years since we got a comic superheroine show in prime time. That was Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really looking forward to this, but still not sure why it's not on the CW. Yeah, it seems to me it so should be on the CW. My concern is there's nowhere to fit it with. There's yeah. going to be no lead-in. But it looks really good. Oh, yeah, it looks great, but I'm worried it's going to get lost on CBS. Yeah. Speaking of the CW, though, we have Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Which is a stalker musical comedy. I don't know if CW's luck can hold out for this or not. Yeah. <laughs> we have on Fox Minority Report because TV shows based on movies are always a hit. Always a hit. <laughs> hey, you can luck out every once in a while with like a mash. Yeah. yeah. And this will be the next mash. That'll be the next mash. Yeah. <laughs> or it'll be the next cancellation in about four weeks. Yes. Because I, from what I understand, it's very expensive. Yeah. Because it's, it's a futuristic show, mm-hmm. so unless it hits huge numbers almost immediately, it's Fox, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. NBC has Blind Spot, which is a big concept and a big bet for NBC. Is this the one where the girl is um, found, found and, and she's got tattoos right. and she doesn't remember anything? Right, but she suddenly has these abilities and yeah. all this. And, uh-huh. Yeah. I might watch that. Yeah, um, at this point, NBC doesn't have a lot else going for it, so they'll probably let it run for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, Tuesday, we have ABC's The Muppets. This is the show I'm looking forward to the most. Yes. So, Big Bang Theory's Bill Prady worked for Henson Mm -hmm. as as a writer uh, a long time ago. And the only question is, will his reverence for the characters get in the way? 
<laughs> but based on the ads, they're really expanding the concept. Yes. And it's more adult and it's more, yeah. you know. It looks like it should be a lot of fun. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. CBS has Limitless. Hey, a guy gains expert abilities at stuff through tech. I've never seen that idea before on TV. Yeah. What a new idea. I would like to point out this is another TV <laughs> series based on a movie. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> so you got two strikes already. Fox's Grandfathered and the Grinder. Don't bother learning much about these sitcoms with veteran TV stars because it uh, won't be along, around for very long. I don't think so either. <laughs> Fox's Scream Queens. So I'm not sure how you do an ongoing horror series unless you do it on cable and you can show stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I. It's an interesting concept, though. Right. I don't know. Yeah. NBC has Chicago Med and coming soon, Chicago Security <laughs> Guards. Are they just ranking that out, doing the, the Law & Order CSI. How many Chicago shows can right. they have? And that's how they're doing it. They're... They're promoting it as the next Chicago show. Right, yeah. You know, it's like, it's okay. A, it's now the Chicago Trilogy. Yes. NBC has Best Time Ever with Neil Patrick Harris. It's a variety show. It's a hidden camera show. It's a dessert topping. Yeah. It's If he can top himself every week after the frenetic first episode we saw, oh. <laughs> I, yeah. that's my concern is, wow, I don't know what else you could do. Yeah. They just threw everything at the screen they possibly yeah. could. And they gave away like prizes to the audience and to home viewers. Right. That were, there was a car and there were trips. and I mean, it was just ridiculous. Absolutely. And then we have ABC's Wicked City. Uh, this is a 1980s L.A. serial murder case with, with a limited season, mm -hmm. kind of like American Crime. And they could come back with a different serial murder case every season if they wanted. Yeah. Over on Wednesday, we have CBS's Code Black. Ooh, another medical procedural. Ooh. What a great original idea, folks. Can't. <laughs> you just can't crank out enough of those, can you? Yeah. Next. We have Fox's Rosewood, yet another procedural. This is the first time I've ever heard of it. It was when I was reading about it in Entertainment Weekly. Yeah. I, and it was in almost like a little... A little blurb. <laughs> blurb. And Tiny there's this other little. show. And by the way, Rosewood is also coming. Uh, that's gone. Thursday night, NBC's Heroes Reborn. Uh. The show that started great then petered out into a lost clone returns. Yes. Why now? Why at all? Why at all? Yeah. <laughs> What's the point? Mm-hmm. NBC's the player, so Wesley Snipes needs to pay his IRS bills, and NBC is still amortizing the sets from Las Vegas. So, here we are. Yeah. Welcome back to the Montecito. <laughs> CBS Angel from Hell. Because Jane Lynch isn't doing enough. Right. And some, she needs something to do between those Hollywood game night seasons. Yeah. So she's now doing this. Uh, I don't see this one lasting very long. Seems more like a CW show. I don't know. I thought it seemed more like an ABC family show or something. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. And speaking of ABC, on Friday night, Dr. Ken. So Ken Jong bounces back from community to a very traditional sitcom. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really bad fit for him. Yeah. <laughs> but most people don't know him from community. They would know him from like the... Um, uh, the Hangover movies. The Hangover movies. But, I was thinking Bachelor Party and I yeah. knew that wasn't right. But... The trouble is, he he his style of comedy really doesn't fit no. with traditional and he's sitcom at all. He's a doctor, right? Which ironically, he, he is, is in real doctor. life. Yeah, uh. <laughs> he's a doc. He's a, he's an actual doctor. Yeah. Then we have NBC's Truth Be Told, where a black couple and a white couple get real and probably get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> you just think everything's getting canceled? Because well, most of them will be canceled. And by the way. Right before Truth Be Told is they're bringing back Undateable. Oh, my gosh. But now it's going to be live the entire season. Oh, my gosh. So NBC is going to have four nights of live programming in prime time now. They are just, help, <laughs> in free fall at this point. And then on Saturdays, as always, the network gave up. <laughs> yes. Lots of reruns, lots and of that's reruns. all. Again, I say this every year. Used to be see that Saturday night was the big night. That was the night every show wanted to be on. And then they went, 
Huh, we had a couple poor showings. Nobody wants to watch it must TV be on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah nobody yeah. wants to watch TV on Saturdays. So we'll put poorer and poorer shows on. Hey, no one's watching them. Let's just put reruns on. It's self fulfilling. You have seven nights to work with, <laughs> and you've decided, eh, hey, we're just giving that one up. Eh, hey, don't bother. Yeah. So who's first in the Deadpool? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I'm I'm betting on truth be told. <laughs> I think that's a pretty that you know. Um, uh, hmm. You know that a rosewood. <laughs> yeah. The, the procedural I never heard of. It's hard to say. <laughs> you know, it depends on what shows first. You <laughs> know. Well, that's certainly a, a point. If you're out first out of the gate, when by the way, as we're taping this, uh, a couple shows have already started, and we're seeing a lot of shows this next week, mm -hmm. and by. You know, early October, they're pretty much all out there. Mm -hmm. So now there's a lots of other stuff coming out um, in various other media's besides network TV, but we didn't cover that in this one because, you know, really the fall TV previews are really all about network TV. Absolutely. And so think about who you think will be the first TV show canceled, yeah. and let us know. Right. Email us, mm -hmm. and you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife Treat Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Bye. Enjoy television. Read a book. <laughs>